Hey, everybody. Yeah, uh, I've been uh, working with this backhoe a little bit, and maybe my driving skills are not uh, what they should be, but I've been having some difficulty trying to back this thing up. So instead, what I've done is is I've uh, um, put a, a ball hitch on the front. It seems to make uh, things a whole lot easier uh, when I'm trying to get that uh, backhoe into um, small spaces. So, yeah. Hey there. Back again. So, I've been uh, bringing the um, backhoe back and forth my garage area here. So, you can see it's just a, an 8 foot garage door. And, and this backhoe is pretty wide right so she she just barely fits in here right with the tires so so I've uh, well first of all I put this um, jack on here and then then I as I, uh, I was showing you earlier I put put a hitch uh, a, um, on the front on my snow plowing um, attachment so in the winter now I can just pull this, pull the pin, pull the um, hitch out, and then I can uh, plow snow like normal. But uh, having this thing on the front just makes uh, backing or uh, uh, putting this guy inside just makes it so much easier. Maybe I'm not uh, very <laughs> very good at uh, backing it up, but it seems like the short wheelbase makes it just so much more difficult backing it in but uh here here now uh, on the front it, yeah it's 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 much much better
Yeah, so I'm back out doing uh, some more digging. Uh, yeah, just trying to get used to the backhoe. Um, yeah, just uh, hopefully I'm getting slowly getting better.
So yeah, so this is the uh, road that we're or the, or the little entrance way going through. That tree is going to be taken out of there in the fall. And this is my little setup. Can't take too too much. This, I actually bought that at Costco, but I rose it up a little bit. I welded the frame there in the bottom. So yeah, so we're going to go and unload this load of soil. <laughs> 